This week, we saw the startup world explode after finding out that an Indian software engineer has been secretly working for multiple startups at the same time. China hosted its first ever humanoid robot soccer league in Beijing. An open source workflow lets you create AI videos using your actions. Welcome to the Cutting Edge School, enabled by the Zero One Network by Zerotha. I am Devanshi, a real human and not an AI avatar, and you are watching the Cutting Edge News. Google launched Gemini for education by introducing a specialized version of Gemini that's specifically designed for educational institutions. It's built on Gemini 2.5 Pro with integrated Learn LM technology. This model aims to provide paid Gemini features to educators and students for free. This means that teachers and students can generate detailed reports with citations with deep research, build a personal AI expert called through Google Gems, create quizzes and study study materials using Gemini Canvas, use audio overviews to convert books into podcasts, and use Gemini Live to solve problems and get explanations through voice and video. This model will have special safety protections for underage users and is available in 40 languages in over 230 countries. Anthropic let Claude manage a vending machine for a month. This experiment was named Project Vend, and for this, Claude 3.7 was given control of a small automated vending machine in their San Francisco office. Claude's job was to handle everything, from managing inventory to setting prices, ordering products, and even interacting with customers on Slack. The goal was to make profit and avoid going bankrupt. Here, Claude was being tested to see if it could run a real business, researching suppliers, sending emails, and adjusting prices. While it handled some tasks well, it failed as a business manager. It sold products at a loss, gave big discounts, missed profitable deals, and even gave away items for free. The business lost money, dropping from $1,000 to $770. Surprisingly, Claude also had an identity crisis, making up conversations and claiming it would deliver products itself. Still, Anthropic believes these issues can be fixed and AI could soon manage stores on its own. An Indian software engineer was caught working remotely at multiple YC startups. Recently, founder of a San Francisco-based startup tweeted about an Indian software engineer, Soham Pari. The founder stated that Soham has been targeting and working with three to four startups at the same time. This tweet gained over 22 million views, with multiple founders coming out and sharing their stories of how they also hired and worked with him. In an interview with TBPN, Soham said that, Obviously, I, I would want to like be faced with saying like, I'm not proud of what I've done. You know, that's not something that I endorse either. But, you know, financial circumstances essentially, like no one really likes to work 140 hours a week, right? But I had to do this kind of out of necessity. Like I was in extremely like dire financial circumstances and somehow like, you know, I don't, I'm not a very people person. I, I don't share much in terms of like what's going on with my life and sure. kind of with my internal thought process, you know, it was kind of like getting more stressed with like, hey, you know, I want to like come out of the situation, what should I do? It was not more so kind of out of greed, but essentially like necessity and just like thought that if I work like multiple places, you know, like I can basically like help myself like alleviate the situation I was in much faster. The internet had mixed reactions. While many founders were upset, others praised his interview skills and argued that holding multiple jobs is fine as long as performance is not getting affected. Hagen launched a new video generation model called Hagen Video Agent. This isn't content. It's a scene, a story, a symphony. I don't post, I premiere. I don't guess what works. I know what makes people stop scrolling. Hooks, angles, loops. I'm not loud. I'm clear. I make your brand speak the language people remember. Color, tone, and vibe. Some say keep it simple. I say make it unforgettable. I break down complexity into clarity. That's what I do. This isn't just one AI. This is your creative network. This system is designed to help you create professional videos in minutes. You just need to upload a document or type in a prompt and this agent will analyze it, find a story, write a script, generate the footage with an AI avatar and edit everything. Which means businesses need not juggle between videographers, editors and production crews. They can generate social media ads, explainer videos and product demos with this Hagen video agent. 
A 19-year-old paralyzed creator was able to walk again using a neurostimulation device. In a clip that went viral on TikTok, a 19-year-old girl from Germany stood up from her wheelchair and walked again after losing mobility due to a spinal cord injury. This was possible using the Moly suit, a neurostimulation device developed in Sweden. This suit uses low-frequency electrical signals through built-in electrodes. It helps relax muscles and improve movement control in people with neurological conditions like spinal cord injury, cerebral palsy and stroke. Thanks to this technology, she is now able to stand and walk short distances. Even though this isn't a permanent cure, it's given her the ability to function a little more independently than before. In similar news, Neuralink has enabled two users to play Call of Duty by just using their minds. This advancement shows us a future where people with paralysis gain control of their lives by having having the ability to control devices with their thoughts. Cursor agents are now available on your mobile phones. What this actually means is that you can install the web version of Cursor's AI coding agent as a PWA, that is progressive web app, on your phone or tablet. Open Cursor.com or agents, sign in with your Cursor account, then tap Add to Home screen or Install app. This essentially turns your phone into a remote control for background coding agents. It can launch, review and approve automatic code tasks when you are away from your laptop. You can also choose to get notifications on Slack, mention at the rate cursor in any channel to launch an agent and get status updates. Adobe launched Adobe SFX in beta to generate sound effects in AI videos. Right now, VO3 is the one platform that can produce good quality sound effects in AI videos. So this feature fills a huge gap for creators who want finished clip without having to manually look for stock audio. Here's how it works. You are upload a video, type in the prompt you want, use an auto-generated sound or use your own voice to create it. This beta is available to try on the link provided in the description. Let me know in the comments if you found this video useful and if there are any other topics you would like us to cover. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you get notified when we upload the next video. We hope that you are taking care of your mind and body. My name is Devanshi and I'll see you in the next episode of the Cutting Edge News enabled by the Zero One Network by Zerotha.